There are 32 players in a bracket-style chess tournament, sometimes also called a single elimination tournament, where a player is eliminated when he or she loses a game. How many games are needed to decide a winner? Let's break this down step by step. So here we have games and the number of players left. So at the beginning, we have 32 players left. So if we organize 16 games for those 32 players to play, then we'll be left with 16 players, since 16 of the original 32 would have been eliminated. Now for those 16 players, if we organize 8 games, then at the end of those 8 games, we'll have 8 winners remaining, since 8 of the 16 would have been eliminated. And similarly, if we continue this process, if we organize 4 games for those 8 players, then we'll have 4 winners remaining, then we can organize 2 games for those 4 players, after which we'll have 2 players remaining, then those two players can play in the championship match, which will decide our champion, who is the one player remaining. Now, the total amount of games played to decide the winner is the sum of these numbers, which is 31, and so 31 games are needed to decide a champion. Alright, so that was the brute force method, which can get more and more tedious as we add more and more players to our tournament. Here's a much more efficient way of thinking about this problem. In total, we have 32 players, and we want to decide a winner, so we want to go from 32 players to one player, which means we want to eliminate 31 players. If each game eliminates one player, then that means we have to play a total of 31 games. So in general, if we have n players in a bracket-style single elimination tournament, then we need n-1 games to decide a winner. And that's a trick you can use to solve these types of problems. 